Hey there, it's Ron with Insurance for Texans and I've got today's home insurance tip. But before I get there, if you like the information you're receiving and you want to make sure you don't miss additional home insurance tips, subscribe to the channel. There's a little button down there and make sure you hit the little bell so that you get a notification when a new home insurance tip is released for you uh, in the future. That said, let's talk about today's tip. I was asked the question the other day by one of our insureds, hey, is my golf cart covered on my home insurance? And it's a result of the building craze that we're seeing here in North Texas. There's a lot of master plan communities. We're, we're getting rows of homes. They're including amenities such as pools and parks. And some of them even have like wave pools. It's crazy. Golf courses, all those kinds of things. The master plan communities create a need for short distance transportation. And that's a really cool thing, um, but it's not great if you're loading up the kids in the suburban to go like half a block to the park or the local community pool. So people have turned to golf carts to get them from point A to point B inside these master plan communities. So are you covered if you throw the kids in the back of the golf cart and you hoof it down to the community pool. Let's take a look at where your home insurance does actually cover your golf cart because there is coverage. So number one, if you are on the golf course in either your personal cart or a rented cart and you like have too many with the golf cart or with the beer cart girl, you run into a structure, you run into somebody else's cart, that damage and any resulting liability that occurs with that will in fact be covered. So that's the good news. Um, just play it safe when you're on the course for me. The other place that your golf cart is going to be covered is if you're using it to move around your property. So let's say you've got an acre, acre and a half, two acres inside of one of these communities and you're using your golf cart to get around the property. That is absolutely covered. It's gonna be similar to like lawnmower coverage. Uh, you know, if, if somebody is, is hurt, somebody is damaged, let's say you run over your neighbor's foot, the medical payments to others and the personal liability will kick in to protect you. That's the great news. Let's talk about the streets. And this is where you may not like my answer. You're not gonna be covered. So if you hand the golf cart to your teenager, they go drag racing down the street to the stop sign, they run into a car, guess what? You're on the street, you're not tagged for um, you know, being street legal, you're not gonna have coverage. That Your homeowners is not gonna to extend to that situation. In that instance, the reality is you need to have what's known as a low speed vehicle policy. They're generally pretty inexpensive, they're easy to put in place for you, and they are going to properly protect you as soon as you leave your property and before you get onto that golf course. So if you've got one of these uh, vehicles, a side-by-side's another great example of that. If you got one of these vehicles, a local independent insurance agent like Insurance for Texans can absolutely hook you up with a policy that's gonna protect you. Hit the link in the description down below. It's gonna take you to our website and the actual blog entry that goes with this particular subject. And there you will be able to reach out to us so that we can get a policy put in place for you to make sure that you don't lose your behind if your teenager is drag racing to the stop sign. I'm Ron with Insurance for Te uh, Texans, and that's today's home insurance tip.